Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today's layout is about Christmas jumpers and um, they feature quite heavily in my Christmas and this layout is going to is, is kind of telling about the fact that I had three Christmas jumpers this year or three new Christmas jumpers this year. Um, yeah so um, the photo is just me and this particular jumper but I'm actually telling the story of the fact that I you know I love my Christmas jumpers and I've got um, quite a few of them so this paper here is Pink Fresh Studio Santa's Workshop it says there has it got a uh, collection name it's from 2021 Normally it has a collection name, doesn't it, as well? Maybe they do things differently. Anyway, it's this pattern on this side, and then on the other side is this pattern here. So, yeah, I'm not sure what collection that came from. That was gifted to me, I believe that was gifted to me. Um, and then I've got this scrap here of pattern paper, and what I thought I'd go for on this layout was a little bit of a bold look. If you follow me, you do know that I like my bold, bright, busy pattern papers, and I do like mixing them as well. And I thought with this jumper having black in it as well as being really light I thought I'd do that with the layout so I got this scrap here that was gifted to me as well and it was a scrap so I just tore a little bit off and I thought I'd add that at the bottom of the page and I quite like the way that looks and um, I've got this die cut piece here that I'm never going to use as a, as a that side of it I probably may have used that side of it but you know I've got a use for it here so I'm going to use that as journaling and it's going to be um sort of a it's kind of a half and half layout in a way with the photo centred in the middle of the page and then extending the embellishing. So I've got Bamba Fox piece here, this wood piece here that I purchased new from my stash last year, a uh, dotty bat flare piece there, some twine, thread, um, four Christmas jumper textured or layered stickers there and then um, this is Bamba Fox as well and then I've got this puffy and this textured sticker and this texture sticker was the last one of the packet and um, I tried to use it on a previous layout but it didn't quite work out and I'm not sure it's going to work on this layout because I like this one too so we'll see how it goes those uh, jumper stickers came from Stephanie my lovely friend Stephanie and it's hobby craft and they're, they're called toppers and you get eight in a packet and yes yeah, she sent those to me so she knows I love my Christmas jumpers and uh, she loves her festive wear too so yeah I've already stuck this piece down and this one's ready to go uh, I'm not sure where it's going to go yet, probably about there. And I was thinking I liked this dotty um, flare piece here because of the string lights in the photo and also it's got blue in it, plus it's got all these colours that are in this pattern paper. So it's not actually, as far as I know, it's not a Christmas one. It, it, it may have been, but um, it's, uh, you know, it can be used for anything, can't it? It's not a th very themed, that's what I mean. And I've got, I thought what I might do is have a line of Christmas jumpers along here something like that and then snap sharp here and I was going to use one of these stickers up here and I'm thinking I actually really like this one partly because the stripes on it kind of match with the paper and also I think the colours work really well and I love that little robin actually so yeah I'm thinking I might do a little sort of filled corner up there for the title and then add another bit of embellishing somewhere else like this here that's my thinking. As you can see, it's quite a simple layout. Um, it's going to come together quite quickly, I think. And yeah, let's get going. <laughs> I did think about mounting the pattern paper, like framing it in black with black cardstock, just for the kind of to be dramatic. But um, I thought actually, no, I, I just like the fact that I've got the dramatic bit at the bottom and then the very light, bright section at the top. Um, so yeah, that's what I uh, stuck with. Now then, do I need my do I need my ruler just to, as a guide? I want it quite low down the page. I, I want I quite like the uh, um quite like the pattern showing quite a lot on the top because although I have got the dark paper at the bottom, I do want it to be a bright and cheerful layout. So <laughs> that's my thinking there pop these down I've got oh the other thing I've got out is my stamp set over there which is my uh, hunky dory Christmas jumper stamp set um, with a few sayings about Christmas jumpers it's a UK 
uh, business. So I, I was thinking of adding a little bit of um, stamping in some of these boxes. But yeah, I'm, I, I don't know whether I want to do, whether I want to keep the clean lines and I could do it. I suppose I could do tone on tone stamping, couldn't I? If I've got something that could fit in a couple of these boxes, I might do that. I'm not sure though. Because I quite like the clean look of the layout at the top with the boldness of um, the black. This little Christmas jumper bamboo fox piece. I've had several of these. I think some of them were definitely gifted to me. And uh, yeah, very useful. I always usually have some festive headwear during uh, December as much as possible. You know, it's usually this uh, little headband thing that I wear. I did have another one. This one I had to replace it a few years ago because the original one that I had did break. And when I got this one out of my suitcase this year, um, yeah, it had broken. It snapped a little bit, so I had to, um, yeah, repair it, stitch it a little bit. I think that's quite like the placement of that there. Uh, may as well get this down. Hopefully I won't make a mistake when I write on it. If I do make a mistake when I write on it, then I'll have to, um, you know, cut another piece and stick it over. I think that's going to be nice there. Get the flare piece down. Overlapping that slightly. And I want the twine to go around that and making it a little bit difficult, difficult for myself to um, do the writing later. <laughs> the embellishment in the way, but... I just want to get it down so I know what it all looks like. And then I'll just have to do the writing at an awkward angle, like I quite often have to do with my layouts. <laughs> when all the embellishing's done and then the writing gets done left uh, later. Right, I think that's done, I think. Definitely is a quick layout, this one. There's not too much going on there. I do feel a little bit sorry for that, though, that sticker. <laughs> Still got these ones left here as well. Um, I mean, part of me does like the way that looks as well, but I think I'm going to go with that the green shade there. I think it, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with that. Still got the other things to use. So, yeah, this um, layout is um, pretty much done, you know. I'm thinking about the stamping. Now then, what I've got here, I've got... It's Christmas jumper time. The only thing is... The um, it, you know, it's bigger than the it's bigger than the little box, isn't it? Now then, I've got red, blue, gold in here. I could, well, I know what I could do. Maybe I could do it in two places and actually do it in black. Um, just because it's bold, isn't it? And I, and I think I said earlier I wanted the top bit to be <laughs> not bold, because the bottom bit's bold. But now I'm looking at the whole layout and thinking, hmm, it might look nice with just a little bit of black writing, black print. Here, sorry about that noise, I'm just getting my ink pad out, I didn't get it out before. Jet Black Ranger Archival. And I'm also going to have to get out my little um, stamping block here, because I didn't get that out. Either. <laughs> sorry about the noise. I think that's going to stick on there fine. Shall we have a test? I'll just do a little test over here. Christmas jumper time. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. It'd be a shame not to use the stamp set. Oh gosh, I think I'll put that at the bottom there of the um, block because of the embellishments here. Uh, the block would, you know, if I tried to use it that way, those would get in the way. Right, Christmas jumper time. I'm thinking here, on this bit here. Can't really see what I'm doing. It is the right way, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. There, not quite straight, but that's okay. So it would have been nice if it was straight, but and I said that we've got the curve of here, haven't we? So I don't think that's too bad. A little bit messy stamp in there. Couldn't really see through that. So that when I tried to clean it one time, it got a little bit. Um, frosted or whatever you call that and I can't really see through it properly so my fault and then the other one is the um 
the one that says Queen of Christmas Jumpers. And where the Queen stamp is, it's at the bottom of the uh, packet here. That's why I store them, my stamps, in these plastic packages. And I always store them this way so that if anything falls, it falls to the bottom of the packet. So the other thing I could do is maybe Queen of Christmas Jumpers, which is here. I could perhaps do that in two places. Could I like that, do you think? <gasps> now I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's get a different stamp block out, see if I can see a bit better. I think I might just go for it. Can I do that or is that in the way? I think I can probably just about manage it. Make sure it's the right way. Oh, it wasn't the right way around, was it? Let's try now. Just practicing over here. Queen here. Oh nervous to do it now. Don't want to ruin the page because I've only got one sheet of that pattern paper. Okay. Oh, that's in the way. We'll just have to go for it. I think it's gone down okay. Yeah. Oh, a little bit skew if again. Not perfect stamping, but I'm going with it. I've got no choice. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't find that little stamp now. Is it on here? I took it off tonight. Oh, there it is on my face. Uh, I think I'm just going to pop that there. Use the one where I can see a little bit better. Sorry about this. Faffing about again. Perhaps I should have thought about the stamping beforehand, but you know, you don't always, do you? You can't always think of everything in advance. There, I like that. That's my stamping door. Now I've got ink all over my fingers, so I need, really need to be careful, <laughs> which is not something I'm good at. Yeah, I think, oh, is that a mark on there? Might be. Um, with the black, the black and the black, I do like that. Yeah, I'm wondering whether I should have done it over here, but there's not really room to do it over here, so that's fine. I'm pretty sure that's a little mark. Now I'm wondering whether I need, um, like, you know, sequins or something mm. little sections of sequins do i i don't know no i don't think i do got my sequins here mm. i'm just going to leave it as it is you know with just that little bit stamping the jumpers and everything and then just do the writing here at the bottom. And I'm going to wash my hands first. So I'll do that and then take the photo at the end. So yeah, sort of a half and half kind of page again with a centred sort of photo design. Quite like the fact that we've got all this background pattern showing quite a bit of it, even though there's a few marks on it. Um, Bramble Fox piece here, Bramble Fox, just a wood um, embellishment there and the puffy. These layered stickers, lovely layered jumper stickers. And yeah, just telling the story of my love of Christmas jumpers with this dotty flare piece here from the flare hut. Bit of thread around that. And I think I shall do the writing today uh, in red. I think red's going to be the best colour. thought about blue, but I think red is going to be the best colour. So yeah, once again, thank you very much for joining me. Stay safe, take care, and I shall see you next time.